freedom. Today we went to go look for developers at the University of Philippines. Uh, if you're curious on all the stuff that happened in this trip, it'll be on my channel, youtube.com slash Anthony Smith. However, George gave a very compelling talk, which you'll see behind me. If you're curious on what kind of big data solutions we are looking to solve and what we're looking for in developers, just continue watching. Also, keep in mind you can apply at any times at jobs.freedom.tm. I would go into greater detail, but let's face it, I'm not a developer and I don't understand that stuff, so better leave it to him. All right, I'm gone. How about uh, Laravel or PHP? Anyone using PHP? Everyone's probably uses PHP. Um, the challenge we have is because we grew so quickly, in about a year and a few months, we went from being brand new to being the largest network on YouTube. And so we have a lot of big data problems. We have a lot of scaling problems. And that's why we're here today to try to see if we can excite some of the developers here who want to solve or help us solve big data problems. When you have 200,000 channels, that means you have, each channel has, let's say, 20 videos. And each video could have 20 comments. So you can see it's, that's exponential. 200,000 channels times 20 times 20. And then there's a lot of channels that link to other channels. So currently we've indexed 42 million channels on YouTube. 53. 53 now? Okay, so 53 million channels on YouTube, of which 200,000 are our partners. But of course, we want to offer value to everybody, so we want to partner 53 million channels. So you can see the growth potential for what we're trying to solve. And people like Tiffany are the examples of those 200,000 partners, but there's 53 million of her out there that we can help. So who here has tried to solve any big data problems? Things that deal with more than a million rows or a million pieces of data. Anyone interested in trying to solve those kinds of problems? Raise your hand. <laughs> so that's that's where we're trying to find, because we ourselves don't know how to solve those problems. We, uh, using Amazon clustering to try to scale databases and web servers. Uh, we've been using Varnish Cache to help um, deliver static data more quickly. We've been using other technologies like Node, like Mongo, like Python to try to do leverage the libraries and the tool sets available in those technologies. And so our goal at the long term is to go IPO, is to go public. So this company started just a year and a few months ago on YouTube. And because we grew so quickly, our advisors have told us that you should be planning for IPO. Well, what that means is when you go public, it means that the company gets stocks, and the people who were part of the company that helped it grow to go public also gained stock options in the company. And that's what big companies like Google and Microsoft and Facebook have all done. They've built a company from being a private company to a public company. And so that's the pitch we make here is, first, are you interested in solving big data problems and helping YouTubers grow faster? If yes, then, are you excited to be part of a startup that is on the road to go IPO in the next two to three years? And if both of those answers are a yes, then we'd love to uh, get your resume and have you take our exam. We have a written exam. It'll take about 30 minutes to an hour. And I'm also here to just answer your questions. Do you have any specific questions about what we do, how this fits with your interests? Feel free to ask now, or I'll just keep talking. So I'll first ask for questions. Any questions? Okay, hearing none. Um, we're not just working on YouTube. We're also working on Twitch. Who here knows Twitch? Twitch is a gaming live streaming platform. Amazon recently bought them. Anyone know how much Amazon paid to buy Twitch? Almost a billion US dollars. I mean, it's, it's more money than I can imagine. 
So Twitch was recently sold to Amazon. Amazon bought Twitch. Everyone thought YouTube was going to buy Twitch, but it was Amazon. And what they do is they offer a platform for people who play games who want to deliver the video of the game in real time to, the, to an audience watching you. So a good live streamer would have like a thousand people watching them at the same time playing a game. So he'd be commentating, he'd be saying, and now I'm about to you know, fight this boss, and a lot of people would be watching him and chatting, and he'd be responding. And so it's like a real-time sportscaster, but playing games. So one of the features that we built deals with enhancing Twitch. We can now inject real-time stats. Let's say you're watching a League of Legends game. Wouldn't it be cool to see which champions are being used what the stats of the game are, so when you're just tuning in, you can look down and see, oh, okay, they're using these champions, this is the win-loss ratio, and other information. So that's one of the values that we had. We write tools to enhance Twitch, YouTube, Hitbox, even Facebook and Twitter, when we get to them, to add more relevant data beneath events, like live streams or videos. And part of what we're hoping to find here is to find people who are passionate about a particular game. Let's say you love Dota 2. Who here loves Dota 2? <laughs> so then we would love to have your help to build like a Dota 2 API to be able to pull information real time from Dota 2 games. Who here loves League of Legends? <laughs> Popularity contest. So we're, we're, of course we're doing the same for League of Legends, and in fact we have one League of Legends player behind us, his name is Michael from Quebec, and he's also building these components to help bring in the live data into the game that when you're watching it on Twitch or on YouTube. So other things that we're doing, uh, we're building music players. We actually have a player where you can type in any song you want, and you'll be able to hear it right away without installing anything after you've installed our Chrome extension. So the way we do it is we simply play a YouTube video without the video. It's a Chromeless player that plays in the background and you have the option to actually watch the video if you want to see it, not just hear it. But that's another example of a pretty cool piece of technology we built. So now how about the business model? How does freedom make money? Anyone know? Because we're doing all this for free. No one pays for these music players, these game API feeds, all the things we build is given away for free. So how, how do we make money? What's the business model? Advertisements. I mean, who generates the advertisements? Yes. YouTube, or Twitch, or Hitbox. So the reason we make money is because we offer these tools so that the people who make the videos partner with us, and then the companies, YouTube, Twitch, Hitbox, pay us, and then we pay those people. We are like a value add. We're building a platform on top of existing platforms. And our business model is based on revenue share deals. There's never a fee. No one pays us any money for using our services. Instead, they make money by using our training, our tools, our communities to grow their audience faster. So then the company, YouTube, Twitch, Hitbox, pays us. And then we take a small cut. And then we pay those people. So that's the whole business. We help people become independent entrepreneurs, help them earn either like a hobby income to get a little bit more spending cash, or those people who want to do this professionally, make it a full-time full -time gig so you don't have to do anything except make videos or live stream. That's the goal of Freedom, to build this platform, this community that helps people do this. And I'm hoping that we can also find some good developers or graphic designers, people with different technical skills so that we could scale this business up from the 200,000 channel partners we have currently to the 53 million that we know are out there. Um, any questions 
so far. Yes? So it's all part of Heartbeat, and if you want to get it, simply do a Google search for Heartbeat Chrome. This is a Chrome extension. So Heartbeat Chrome, it'll take you to the Chrome Web Store where you can install it, it's free. And then you'll get a little heart in your Chrome browser, you click it, and you can search for any song that you want. And then if you go to YouTube, you'll actually see a lot of extra information. So let's say you're watching a video. What, what videos do you like to search for on YouTube? If you'd like to admit. <laughs> you search for music videos. She likes Anaconda. Anaconda. Okay, so let's say you're searching for those videos and you have Heartbeat installed, you'll see a few extra links. Those links will let you chat with people. So you know how Facebook has a chat. Does YouTube have a chat? No, but we thought it should, so we added one. Heartbeat enhances YouTube and adds a new button called Get a Room. And if you click Get a Room, that will take you to a chat room that will let you talk to people who are also watching that video so you could discuss it and see what other people have said about the video. It's like a real-time commenting, but it's chatting. So that's another feature that Heartbeat adds to enhance YouTube. And we have features to enhance Twitch and other platforms, and we're building more. So good question. Any other questions? Yes? System 1? So this is... Well, uh, on our development team, and he's saying that we are looking for system one developers. Oh, the system one developers are from <laughs> trying to build a system one no. development team. No, no. no. We need the script there. We need the system one developers. The developers. All the system one developers are working in the yeah. company. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm not so good at these script things. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nins. Many of you use Facebook, and no one here has written a Facebook app. One person's written a mobile app. So, one of the things we want to do with Heartbeat is we want to architect our own app platform. What that means is, when someone installs Heartbeat, right now you get everything included. The music player, this get a room feature, all the other enhancements, they're just there. But we want to build a system where people can write Heartbeat apps, just like people can write mobile apps. And then users can choose which Heartbeat app they want to add or remove from their Heartbeat installation. And then in the future, we want to create a full website, which would be like Facebook.com, but it'll be www.heartbeat.tm. You couldn't get Heartbeat.com, so you found .tm, it's like trademark. Uh, but it's really bonus points if anyone knows what country TM stands for. Not you, Anthony. <laughs> TM stands for anyone? Turkmenistan. <laughs> You're not supposed to know that, so uh, it's just a convenient name. But if you want to check it out, what we have right now www.heartbeats.tm. And we want to build, like Facebook.com, a full website with Heartbeat apps and other enhancements into basically a video social network, a Facebook for YouTubers. So there's a lot of cool projects that we are working on. I hope I've piqued your interest. Some of you who may be looking for the right company to do an OJT, or if you're graduating to get your first job. We're based in Eastwood City. And Eastwood City, if you don't know, is in Kazan City. It's about two hours drive from here. Uh, we offer staff housing, which means you can live there if you want uh, at no extra cost. We offer uh, meals, so you'll have uh, lunch and dinner provided. And we're trying to eliminate all the distractions. So we have a games room. We have uh, work time that starts at 11 a.m. Uh, and we have the two breaks for lunch and dinner, and then we stop at 8.30 p.m. So that's the general pitch of what is freedom. And NETV, so it's not confusing, is the name of the company. And freedom is our brand that 
represents the YouTube network. And we'll have other brands like Beat, like MGN, but those are for different categories. Beat is for musicians, MGN is for gamers, and we have other brands, but I don't want to confuse you. So Eastwood offices, lots of perks, pretty cool data problems to solve, and focusing on the road to IPO, to go public as a stock company. You forgot something. What did I forget? Best developers in the country. Oh, of course, yes, we have the best developers in the country. <laughs> so, any questions before I end? Well, if you think of any, we're right over there. We'll be here today and tomorrow. And I encourage you to drop by. Thank you.